You are now listening to the Highly Evolved Podcast with your host, Safan. Transmission will commence momentarily. How are you guys doing? This is the Highly Evolved Podcast. My name is Safan. You can find me on Twitter and get that app. But before we start, I just want to say if you are SJW, socialist, Marxist, communist, please exit the channel. It's only for American patriots. And on that note, let's begin. I want to talk about what happened in the southern borders in somewhere in Texas about two military or two border control enforcement got captured by Mexican military. All right. And Donald Trump responds to that. First of all, the report said that these people, I mean, not these people, our troops, our border patrol was apprehended northern of the, the southern borders, meaning that it's on our land. Right. So these Mexican troops, right, military troops was in the wrong location. They said they said their excuse was that these border patrol members was in an unmarked vehicle, right? And and that that were they were doing something sketchy, right? And then when it comes to the the Mexican military, they they're kind of suspicious too because there's nothing. What they're saying is that when these Mexican military apprehended these people. That there was nothing on their uniform that indicate that they're Mexican troops, but except a flag patch on the shirt. But, but Donald Trump tweeted about this, saying that it might be some, some drug diversion, right? Okay, some drug diversion, right? And, and that get me, get me mad because, first of all, why are there Mexican troops around the southern borders, right? And why they're in in our part of the woods, right? Meaning, the, our troop was apprehended, right, in our side of this of the border wall, border line. All right, why were they do? What were they doing over here? They're not supposed to be in our sides. They're supposed to be on their their sides if they have a sides, right? They want to use the excuse that oh, because of the logistics, that it's hard to decipher what part is what, what part of the border is what. That that solidified even. More reason, it's not about the reason to create a border wall in the first place. All right, what we need now is the border wall as much or as fast as possible, right now. Right, they won't use that excuse that they couldn't tell which side is side is which. Then build a border wall, all right. But that's beyond the I digress on that issue. My, my, the thing that I'm mad and fear is about that they they capture our troops, right. I mean, thank God nothing happened after that. All right. I'm kind of ticked off. And Donald Trump was pissed off. You don't want to piss Donald Trump off. He tweeted. He said, it better not happen again in bold letters. All right. And if you if you guys know about Mexico, they're a very corrupt country, right? So there's, there's, there's a lot of speculation. There's no doubt that I believe that there might be some kind of tr- drug diversion, as Donald Trump tweeted. All right. They might capture these border patrol. This is what I think. This is coming from me, all right? It's not from anybody else. It's just from my opinion. I think what they try to do that they, they, they have these people, right? These um, these quote unquote Mexican military people detain the, the border patrol, right? Detain them at gunpoint. I might add at gunpoint, right? While they detain them, they they let the drugs cartel across the borders. That seems kind of suspicious, doesn't it? Doesn't it when they detain them like that? And they don't, the the drug the the border patrol the, the American border patrol right the way they describe these people that their they their the uniform wasn't common right there was only a patch of Mexican flags and that's it All right that that they they didn't show any identification right and to make matters worse the border patrol was only armed with a nine millimeter right a nine millimeter while these people. These um quote unquote mil- Mexican military they were armed heavily right, somewhat similar to the drug cartels because everybody know the drug cartels are armed heavily as well. They have weapons, better weapons to outnumber the border patrol weapons. The the border patrol, the CBP they only have nine millimeters. How the hell are they supposed to combat that kind of situation? Of course they had to drop their weapons and comply. Right. Donald Trump might have might lead to something here. This might be a drugs drug smuggling ring. Excuse me, a little gas. Right, this might be a drug smuggling ring. Right, 
these people, here's what I think. These people, these Mexican troops might be regular drug cartels in outfits to distract the situation with military guns and apprehend our border patrol while they while they signal the drug cartels to come across the borders. That's probably what happens. All right? And Mexicans not doing anything about this. All right? Mexican Mexico? No, I don't want to say Mexican, all right? That's being tired of run. The Mexican government, let's say that. The Mexican government don't care about their own people. Right? When I say they don't care about their own people, they care about migrants than they do with their own little, um their own people. They care they they allow these migrants to march into their country destroying cities. All right, destroying cities of local Mexican people. Right? And they just don't do anything about it. Therefore they the government of Mexico don't care about their own citizens. Not only that, the Mexican government are corrupt. For years and years and years. I think Acapulco, Mexico, have the highest crime rate. One of the highest crime rate in the country. It used to be, Acapulco used to be a tourist attraction, right? Now I saw this one special that they were talking about that is like infested with crime, corruption, drug dealers cutting people head off, put on the streets. All right? That's how corrupt it is, the, the government in, in Mexico. The Mexican people is fine, except the, it's only the government. It's so corrupt. They don't care about their own people. If they care about their own people, th- their people will not leave the country. This is why I don't understand the, about some Mexican culture. It's like, it's like they left their country due to the corruption, but again, they're, they're, ver- they're, they're waving their flags. Like, There's a reason why you left the country. Your country does not love you. Why are you still waving your flags? All right? Your country does not love you. If they love you, they, you will get all these benefits, right? For all these benefits, all these privileges over everybody else, right? You, there wouldn't be any need for you to migrate to the United States if your country loved you that much, right? But obviously they don't. They're corrupt. Obviously you have to move from Mexico to the United States. Okay. Look, I'm from Southeast Asia, right? You don't see me waving my flag. I always wave the red, white, and blue, America, because they want me, all right? People who are proud of their country. Patriots. And this this madness got to stop, this corruption, all right? The, the people in Mexico need to uprise in their own government and take control of the government because people it shouldn't be like this especially in the, in the northern hemisphere and if they want to consider themselves first world country they have to be better than this all right the mexican government have to treat the mexican community better give them priorities over these migrants they have to do more like donald trump said they have to do more for the country if they do more for the country it alleviate the migration to america Right? And socialism is not the answer. The Mexican government been corrupt for so many years. Right? So many years. They have this reputations of corruption when you speak about their country. Right? Their reputation is ingrained. Why don't they get tired of that? I mean, isn't it exhausting to associate your country with corruption? Don't you just want to change it? Right? Don't you want the government to be better for the people? I'm not talking about socialism, right? And you know how I feel about socialism. A fair way of living in that country. If Mexico would just improve their living condition, we wouldn't have the influx of migrants coming up to America. All right? We wouldn't have to worry about all these bad people, bad hombres that Donald Trump described, right? They're not taking care of their people. They're corrupt, right? And these the, the event that happened this weekend or this week about our troop, our our people, the border patrol was detained. That's that's suspicious. There's gotta be more story to that, guys. There's gotta be way more story to that. It's gonna be have developing issues, all right? I think it's if, it's kind of fishy. I don't think all the, all, all the information is coming out. 
Right. I think, like Donald Trump said, he's just, he's just, he just spilled the beans. It has probably has something to do with drug smuggling. These people that detain our troop, they're probably they're probably not the real Mexican authority. They're probably some joker, right? Wearing camouflage fatigue with a Mexican flag on it, with heavy heavy that's heavily armed. That's what I think. I might be wrong, but let's let's see how it develops. All right. But this kind of thing get me pissed off. They lucky there lucky there was no gunshot or anything like that. This could be an international dispute. This could, this could escalate to different situation, right? This could escalate into like I don't want to say war, man. I just don't want to say war. All right. This could escalate into that if if we if our troops get killed because of this, it's going to escalate that. Donald Trump going to cut NAFTA with cut ties between Mexico, right? Close the border immediately. Right? She should have been closing the border already. That's why I said. This is what made me kind of mad about the, the Donald Trump, our president. Is that just cut the board, just close the border already. All right, just close it. There's too many screw up right now involving Mexico. There's too many screw up. Right? They're not, they're, it's like their brain isn't working. Like their brain is malfunctioning in these the southern borders. The Mexican government is like they're 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 not thinking right, and we just could cl just close on the border. All right, close on the border, and you know what they should do? They should cut down, cut. Donald Trump should eliminate um, wire money money wiring to Mexico. Tell MoneyGram or Western Union you cannot wire money to that country anymore. It's prohibited, and see how they're. Economy work because most of their income, most of the economy, are run by American dollars, all right? And these my, um, Mexican migrants, immigrants, they work over here and they send their money over to Mexico via MoneyGrams, Western Union, and all that stuff, all right? Just freeze on that, cut that, and close the border. Let's see what happens, all right? They need a spanking big time. America need to spank their butt. That's why I believe they need a spanking. They need some discipline. If they don't have any discipline, they won't learn from their mistakes, right? It infuriates me to hear what they did to our border patrol, all right? But on that, in that, in that case, on that note, guys, let me know what you think. Did you agree or disagree? You think we need to be more hard on Mexico? You think we need to show more cojones, all right? Do we need to close the border or, or do we need to cut all ties let me know if you agree this is the holly vault podcast i'm not monetized i'm demonetized that means i'm not sponsored by anybody and i'm not bounded by enemy anybody so i'm unscripted unrehearsed unedited all right if you like what i do you can like share subscribe follow me on social media and i don't know guys thank you for listening this is the holly vault podcast once again my name is safan and i'll see you guys in the next episode peace